Anger and violence are not the same. Most people get angry, not everyone gets violent. In Maine, 14,000 cases of domestic violence services are accessed each year. Family Crisis Services is here to help. Family Crisis Services, for those folks who may not know, is actually a nonprofit domestic violence agency here in the southern Maine area and we actually cover Sagadahawk and Cumberland counties. Domestic violence can be a whole range of things. I think typically people think of it as physical violence, but domestic violence is much more than that. It's a pattern of power and control that one partner asserts over the other partner. And they can um, use that power and control in a variety of ways. So people use emotional abuse, they use intimidation, they use children as a means of abusing um, people and controlling people. They use economic abuse, financial control, not having access to accounts. Uh, so it can really be a wide variety of things. And part of the work that we do is educating people on what it is and helping people to understand that it's much more than the physical violence. Family Crisis Services offers programming to end abuse and provide resources to all survivors of domestic violence. From a young adult abuse prevention program to an incarcerated women's program, they have a wide range of offerings. They have a 24-hour hotline for support and safety planning and an emergency shelter for battered women and their children. The shelter that we have here is actually a safe space that women and children can reside in. Uh, it houses up to 14 individuals at a time, so again that's 14 women and or kids in total. It's an emergency shelter, so it's for those individuals who are experiencing domestic violence that have nowhere else to go. They can no longer stay at their home or they have nowhere else that they can actually stay at temporarily. They need a safe space. So they can stay here indefinitely as they're working the program until something comes up for them otherwise. And you said you can house up to 14 people. How frequently do you have 14 people staying here? Constantly. You'll see that across the country that shelter is actually very hard to come by. A lot of our shelters here locally are constantly full. We are often assisting with housing and trying to figure out what their next living environment might look like. We're trying to figure out with employment, we're trying to figure out you know, school opportunities, job opportunities, anything like that that may come up. Uh, and sometimes, quite honestly, it's just as simple as they need something, you know, whether it be clothing or food or you know, something within the community that they just don't know how to get, we're helping them get there. We are a great staff. There's no judgment in taking any of these calls. We answered about 6,000 hotline calls last year, just in these two counties, so definitely not alone. Anyone is welcome to call the Family Crisis Services hotline at any time. They don't have to be in a state of crisis just to call. The hotline is free and confidential, and may be the first step in transforming a life. Many of these women have been able to successfully gain employment, find childcare for their kids and then maintain um, either a housing subsidy or a housing voucher to get them back on their feet. And it's just a really exciting time. They come back from their first apartment meeting with pictures on their cell phone to show us and um, you know start gathering the things they need for their apartment. And so that's what we hope to see. But you know many of these women have come from horrible situations where they've been living with domestic violence for a long time and uh, it's very, people always ask the question, why does she stay in those relationships? And our main focus, one of our main focuses, is to shift the way people think about that to why do, why do men abuse women? Why is there violence against women? Um, so when women come into the shelter, it's really a rebuilding process. And um, we have had several women lately who've been able to rebuild and, and find housing. Because of the great need for domestic abuse services, Family Crisis Services also has a great need for volunteers. After extensive training, volunteers can lend support by answering the hotline, assisting with childcare or special projects in the shelter, or fundraising. We love our volunteers. There's a lot of reward that comes out of being able to volunteer with us. You're helping someone, you're helping a family, you're hopefully, hopefully saving a life uh, doing the volunteering that you're doing. I think what makes me keep coming back is the success stories and knowing that even if we've just helped in some small way that hopefully that's made a difference along the way. Um, certainly here at the shelter when people find housing and get to move into their own apartment and we start helping them collect plates and towels and pots and pans whenever they might need, that's a really exciting time and that makes, makes it all worth it. For more information on Family Crisis Services, log on to their website. It's familycrisis.org or there's a link on myfoxmain.com.